Hey, welcome to the channel. And today I wanted to do another question and answer of sorts. More of a, I got to ask my opinion on leaf spraying several times lately and if they're still viable as a usable performance slash racing suspension. And the answer is a resounding yes. Is a ladder bar better than leaf springs? Sure. Is a four link better than the ladder bar? Sure. But does that negate the usefulness of the leaf spring system? No. And really, if you look at sportsman race cars, bracket racers, even 10-5 guys, the s 10 some of the fastest S10s in the southeast around here are on leaf springs still. Now, it may be a mono leaf setup with Caltrack bars or something like that, and nobody's sponsoring this video. But it's still a very viable suspension system. And if you think about it, the original cars had leaf springs, rather it was the transverse buggy style like the early Fords or all four corners or a combination thereof. They were 99% on leaf springs until they advented a coil spring in the late 20s. I guess right in there was some of the first ones with coil springs up until the mid to late 70s. And there were still leaf spring production cars even up to like 79, like your Mustang 2s, Camaros, Firebirds, they still had leaf springs on the back. Um, your Dodge Volaris, they were just carryover A-bodies. They still had leaf springs on the back. Trucks to this day still have leaf springs on the back, most of them. It is no reason why you can't go out and race in a proper, safe manner with a leaf spring suspension. Now, it's also, like you hear me say with most things, it's going to depend on the effort and the work that you put into it. If you spend the time to do the research, choose your parts properly, apply them properly, and adjust them, and learn to adjust them, practice your craft, learn a new one. Either way, you never know how far it'll take you. It applies perfectly right here. There is absolutely no reason why you can't use a leaf spring suspension. And I've got a project coming up. I've mentioned it a couple times now. I need to go ahead and get started on it. And it is going to have leaf springs on the back. So we'll go into more detail as we move forward on that project. Pinion angle, move and purchase around, that kind of thing. Because I'm going to put a whole new rear end in it. And I'm going to have to mount the purchase. So we'll make some setups for doing that. And show you all what goes into actually mounting a leaf sprung rear end. The way I've always done it, the way I've been shown to do it, I'm not going to say it's the only way. I'm not going to say it's the best way, but it is a viable way. As always, practice your skills, learn a new one. Either way, turn them into craftsmanship. Hope you found this video interesting. Hope this answers the least spring questions I've been asked lately. And as always, have a great day. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. This has been Fab Race Mod Repeat.